Hello there, friends. I'm Graham, and this is Surreal Cinema, and today is Halloween. Maybe not for you, but for me, it's Halloween. It's October 31st, and I'm going to review Halloween Town. So, basically, what Halloween Town is, is a movie designed for little kids. I, I swear that's what it is. If not, the acting is just horrible. Um, okay, so from a, an, I'm going to look at this today from an adult perspective. I'm 42. I'm looking at it in an adult perspective. I, mean, I don't act like an adult. So Halloween Town um, is really either designed for children, like young, young children, which I'm assuming it is, or the acting's really bad, or the scripting's really bad, because what they are doing, the idea, the concept is actually kind of cool. Um, so you have um, a mom and three kids, two daughters and a son. One of the daughters is 13. She's about to get her powers and become a witch, uh, which she just discovers. Um, and mom is a witch, but she lives in the mortal world and uh, doesn't want to raise her children to have powers and know of that moral mortal world. So what do they do? She runs away to the mortal world and she raises her kids. And all of a sudden, and, and by the way, grandma, grandma lives in Halloween town, which is like magic and like this mysterious other world. So, <clears throat> Halloween or uh, Grandma is only allowed to come to the mortal world only on Halloween. So either she can travel in and visit and then leave again, or she can travel and stay or whatever. But she's only allowed to travel from one world to the other on Halloween. Well, Grandma decides to travel to the mortal world, visit her children, and she knows how special of a year this is. This is the thirteenth Halloween for her daughter, her granddaughter, her oldest granddaughter. And she's about to get her power. So she really wants to do something with that. And of course, mom's, her mom's like, absolutely not. Go away, mom. I want nothing to do with you. My children are mortals. I'm raising them as mortals. There will not be any, any witchcraft going on here. So grandma kind of gets a little butt hurt. And she puts her, uh, her broom, if you will, between her legs and <coughs> hikes away. Well, the kids follow her. And she gets on this bus and they get on the bus with her and they follow, spoiler alert, uh, they follow her into Halloween Town. And uh, they, they end up running in and finding Grandma. And Grandma is like, I know for a fact that your mom don't know you're here. And she ain't going to be happy. And Grandma's having some issues in Halloween Town. She needs some help because there's this evil, evil dude that is trying to destroy everything. The, the mayor. Um, he's got some great ideas for Halloween Town. And so she needs to stop it. She needs to, to end it or the Halloween Town will be done and over with. And so this is kind of the journey of, of um, uh, the kids are kind of like learning about what's going on. A lot of, a lot of this is being explained to us. And then... Um, the daughter, or the, the granddaughter, the oldest one, she ends up getting her first broom and grandma takes her on her first broom ride. And um, when they get back, mom's there and mom is pissed. And mom's like, enough, we're going back to mortals, mortal world, or whatever you want to call it. And, and we're never coming back. We're done with you, grandma. You don't listen, basically is what she said. And so she takes them away. Well there's no bus to return for like a good two or three hours. So they've got nothing better to do, but well, get into trouble. And they do, they get into a lot of trouble and they end up helping grandma and I'm not going to ruin the rest for you. <laughs> ah, you got to watch it. It's a good one. You have to understand it's cheesy. You have to understand that it, the time period in the nineties there, it was definitely designed for children. It was definitely, um, very dumbed down for children. And the way you can really tell that is in the scripting for this, because they, they really break down. They spell everything out for you in the scripting. They, they tell you everything and why things aren't it just, it's over, over explanatory, if you will. 
Um, but like I said, designed for children. So that is what it is. So that is it for me today. Y'all have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me here on Surreal Cinema. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely hit that subscribe button down there. Actually, it's probably on that side. Uh, comment, ring the bell, uh, give me that thumbs up. Thumbs down is good too. I'll take either or, whichever one you want to give me, I'll take. And uh, yeah, so until next time, I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure to check your candy really good before you eat it because you never know. There might be a razor blade or so, like a syringe or something in your candy. You don't want to put that in your mouth. That'd be horrible. And don't eat any fruit or anything that somebody's given you, especially like apples and stuff, because they might be laced with poison. I'm just, just giving you a fair warning. It's a really dangerous, dangerous world out there. So really keep an eye out. Make sure you got your flashlight. Wear bright colors and have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.